What's up guys? Um, this is what I have to do every time I want to create a video, but it's been so long since I've created a video. I've been absolutely slammed with work, which is a great thing, and I just needed a little break. A little, little TLC to, to myself to just relax, I guess. I was just mental for a few weeks and I didn't really have a day off. So, I'm back here uh, doing this YouTube thing. And it's exciting, very, very challenging just to even start the process of this. But we're here now. So what you gonna do? Um, so this is, I thought I'd dress it up a little, you know, a bit of greenery. Uh, this is Moni, Moni the Monstera. Uh, he's got a, I don't know if you can see that new leaf coming through. Today, I'm going to share to you guys a couple of things that I wish somebody showed me when I first started learning photography. So this is just for there's someone that wants to learn or somebody that is amateur or takes photos with their cell phone and just posts it. Just a couple of key things that I think that make your photo stand out just that little bit better. So on that note, tip one. Nah, not that noise, maybe. Yeah, that sounds better. So tip one, check your horizon. Now this is not a uh, must do or a golden rule that you have to always do. What I think is best is when the horizon or you've got straight lines, vertical lines, horizontal lines, and they're looking square. So I'm a builder, so my eye always goes to those things. So when you're taking a photo of a beach, Remember just to straighten up the horizon. Just sometimes when you're doing that, it just looks more pleasing because everything shows up in social media and photos, everything is square. So when the horizon is a little bit wonky, it just doesn't look right, or it just looks sometimes a little out of place. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have your horizon or your building on the angle, but I think when you do it, do it with intention. Do it because this is a style that I wanna do. So there's nothing wrong with crook, wonky, crooked horizon. So just check for that, straighten up the horizon, super easy to do, uh, just shape it, make it look nice and square, pleasing to the eye, and it's just that little bit better. I think another thing, so this is tip number two, is to look at your surroundings when you're taking a photo. It's very easy to just go, the light's perfect here, and we're right here right now. Sometimes you just need to look around you and see, because like there could be plants, there could be a forest or a whole bunch of leaves that are all different colors, and it kind of doesn't allow your subject to pop. Now, I'm not saying you can't do that. If you are gonna do that, use a lower aperture. That's in another video, I'll talk about apertures and things. I think just what really enhances your subject to like go, poor, that's a sick photo, is to look at a clean background. So it's a style term that people use is really minimalist. Uh, look for less distraction around. So it's so your subject, look for less distraction around so your subject comes through to the photo better. And if you're on a cell phone, use portrait mode. That is gonna blur the background to make it look all cool and stuff. So that's another wee tip. Tip number four, this is probably the most important tip out of all of them. Be yourself. There is no wrong photo you can take. There is no bad photo that you can take. It's only bad when you compare it to other people's photos. So do you first, always. Create from in here, always create from in here. I got so lost with getting caught up in the likes and the comments and growing my Instagram account because I knew what people liked and I gained lots of followers but I wasn't creating from in here or for me. So do you create for you? I think it's important to discover that journey to understand what you like and be aware that you can stand out and be different from all your creative friends. You can be different. So I'm encouraging you to 
find, knock on the door, dig a hole, whatever you have to do to try and find your individuality, find who you are inside and allow that to be expressed. So earlier on, don't get caught up in, oh, it's not good enough, the colors aren't right. Just post it and just keep doing it and then you can go back and look at the growth that you've done and you can see the decisions why you did what you did and now you're gonna choose a different choice now. So. Do you, that is probably my most important tip. And this is, I'm preaching to myself, do you, it is important to do you. So, on that note, if you liked it, give us a like. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down, <laughs> it's okay. Um, let me know if there's any other little videos, uh, small videos or bigger videos if you want, uh, anything else that you'd like me to talk on. I am very passionate about bringing you guys value to all my subscribers. I'm so grateful for your support. Dougie wants to come up and say hello. I'm so excited um, to create for you guys and also I'm excited to see what comes through these videos that I make for you guys. I'm going to do some more BTS, so behind the scenes shots, uh, maybe show you guys how I do my shoots, uh, how I edit. Um, things just to watch out for because I think what I would like to do and convey is that there is no one way of doing things and that my way works for me but it might not work for you so do you um, be blessed and thanks for turning up on my video I appreciate the support um, every little bit goes a long way and um, yeah peace out